everyone. So I'm so excited to continue our work starting our personal narratives. So today I want to teach you that writers sometimes think not of a person, but of a place that matters to them and lists story ideas that go with that place, choosing one story to write. Sometimes instead of listing stories that happen in a place, they map them and they, and then they write, write, write. All right, so our two I strategies that we've talked about so far are thinking of a person who matters to you and listing all the small moments and then choosing one and writing the whole story. And then our second strategy for writing a personal narrative is thinking of a place that matters, mapping small moments and choose one to write it. So I'll show you what I mean by mapping. When I say writers map story ideas, and then you guys can choose to do that or you can, can choose to um, add to your daily writing journal of a list. All right, so if an idea for a great story pops into your head right away, you don't need to use these strategies. These are for if you don't have a personal narrative idea. All right, so first I need to think of a place. And to show you what mapping is, I'm gonna go ahead and share my camera. All right, so I'm gonna turn my paper actually this way. All right, so I need to think of a place. It should be one that I know well or that you know well, because writing is always better if the writer is an expert on the topic. So I'm gonna think, I'm going to think of my bedroom at my old house. So my bedroom when I was growing up, your guys', you know, your guys age. So I'm gonna put my old bedroom because it's not my current bedroom. All right, so I'm going to think. I'm going to go ahead and draw out my bedroom. It's just a pretty square room. All right, I had a window here. My window. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and pause this recording and I'll come back after I have finished drawing or mapping out my place. All right, so I've already gone ahead and drawn out my bedroom. So now I'm gonna think of places or stories that happened in my room. So hmm, I'm going to think what happened in my room that I can think of. Well, let me get a different color. And something that I am thinking of that happened in my reading area was that I read my first book series. All by myself. All right now I'm gonna think, what is something else I can think about that happened in my room that I can write a personal narrative on? So I'm gonna think. All right, so I would play with my dog a lot. And there was this one time that she had so much energy that she was just running around and around and around and around and around. And that's when she first played with her tail. And so that is kind of a fun memory for me and I can think of all the different details. Um, so I might write, catching her tail. All right, so also somewhere in my room that I can think about is the time. That I When I first started middle school, I remember getting dressed and being so nervous. 
So I'm going to write the first day of middle school. Just that morning before, so the that could be a personal narrative I could write about. All right, so this is what we call mapping. Okay, so I'm going to draw somewhere that is important to me. Now it could be your backyard, it could be a park, it could be anywhere. And then kind of labeling, like I did, the stories that could go along with that. Now let me show you one more thing. Is when we go to our personal writing journal, and I go today's date, Okay, I can do the same thing, but instead of listing the person, I'll list the place. So I'll say, my bedroom. And then I'll go ahead and list all of those personal narrative memories that I could write about. So remember, if you have any questions, I have office hours from 1.30 to 2 over Zoom, or you can message me on Canvas.